guest, one significant feature of every military parade is the custom of carrying colors. National colors and the regimental colors. The opportunity to carry colors is considered a great honor for very young officers, and historically, only the most courageous young officers were assigned to carry the unit's colors in battle. Nowadays, the honor is given to very young officers who excel at drill and who are physically fit. This morning, Captain Reginald A.J. Ofosu Hene has the honor of carrying colors in the national colors and Captain Anson Solomon of Olikwe Ayi carry the regimental colors. Arriving now are the chiefs and traditional rulers in the northern region. Jabo Suli Salifu, the regional director Ghana Education hey! Service, Dr. Peter. Hey! for the commencement of this morning's activities. We shall now commence this morning's activities with the anniversary prayers. 
I humbly call on the Imam and Chaplain to lead us in an opening prayer. The nation, however, became a republic on the 1st of July, 1960, when Dr. Kwame Nkrumah became the first president of our motherland. We are indeed grateful to our forefathers for their struggles and self-forgetting sacrifices that have given us the freedom we are enjoying today. services of prayer this morning and it is very important to know the role they play in the development of our nation. Ghana Armed Forces is made up of Ghana Army, the Ghana Navy and the Ghana Air Force. They are responsible for the defense of our Ghana motherland by land, sea and by air. The Army is responsible for defending the land, the Navy defends the sea the Ghana Air Force defends Ghana's airspace. Apart from these traditional rules, the Ghana Air Forces is involved in a number of activities all geared towards national development. We say well done to them all for their sacrifices and contributions. Say well done to them all for their sacrifices and contributions towards the peace we have in Ghana today, as well as loyalty to. Shall we please give her a round of applause? What is unity? When you smile and I smile and show love to one another and also work together, it will build our strength. Where there is strength, dreams can be achieved, which will bring about development and prosperity amongst us and the nation as a whole. As the saying goes, together we stand, divided we fall. Thank you.
all contingents will march past in slow and quick time and later joined by the other contingents. Ladies and gentlemen, military history reveals that armies throughout the world have participated in some form of drill. In those days, the drill procedures practiced were identical to the tactical maneuvers employed on the battlefield. It enables commanders to quickly move their forces from one point to another. Ladies and gentlemen, may I kindly remind you all to pay the appropriate compliments as the colors march past your location. The senior color ensign carrying the national colors is Captain Reginald Ufusu Hene. The junior ensign carrying the regimental colors is Captain Solomon Ai. Followed closely is the Ghana Air Force contingent under the command of pilot of Salida Jumo with Sergeant Donko as the Spanumri. The Ghana Air Force contingent has drawn the letter H as they pass by the days. The number four contingent is made up of troops from the police service and is commanded by Deputy Superintendent of Police, Frank Domin, with Sergeant Arthur Yeboah Prince as the Spanumri. The number four contingent have formed the letter G. The first four contingent have formed the inscription GH66. A testament to the six years of Ghana's independence. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we please give them a round of applause? 